talked yesterday a little bit about Zion and his physicality, and Nas Reed, I'm guessing at some point, will be matched up against him. Certainly not his, the only responsibility, yeah. but um, what what kinds of things would you like to see from Nas specifically defensively yeah. in a game like this? Uh, just moving his feet, uh, beating, beating a, a player like that to a spot, and uh, you know, continuing to be physical and you know you don't want necessarily want to say play without fouling because you know that's the expectation for every possession is that you have proper technique and, and you you stay solid within, within the confines of the rules but um, don't put yourself in a position where where you don't have an angle and where there might be you know you leave it up to chance then whether it be you know a put back whether it be a second jump whether it be a quick layup or a foul call it is the defend without fouling but still be physical, yeah. that I would assume is sort of a fine line that yeah. any NBA player in his first year has to learn. Oh, it is. It's a learning process, and um, Nas is getting better with that. Um, I think we've seen that as of late, and uh, it's a good challenge tonight um, for him, not only him, but the rest of our group. It's impressive, you know, Malik, and I think you talked about his work ethic right when he got here. Uh, but after a few weeks, kind of getting to know him, what's, what's impressed you the most about him and, and that work ethic? Yeah, I mean, that's consistent. Um, a lot of times, you know, you'll see a work ethic when either people are around or when, you know, you're new to a team or new to a group. Uh, with Malik, it, it hasn't wavered. I mean, he's, he's in the gym all the time. Um, uh, so it's never, you know, if he misses shots or if he doesn't know something, it's never going to be for lack of, lack of effort. Uh, and we, we know that. And, you know, I've been impressed with, uh, you know, how he can get himself open uh, and catch and shoot actions and you know throughout games and then you know we've challenged him defensively um, you know to to continue to work to guard you know dynamic uh, you know on ball and off ball players at either at the one two or three um, with how we want to defend and I think he's he's done done a nice job of that and he's getting better and better with that. He's kind of embracing a new yeah. As well, how is he kind of taken to that? Yeah, he's he's vocal, and he's vocal, and it's because he he's competitive and he wants to win, and so he you know will hold players teammates accountable, and he expects other guys to hold him accountable as well. And uh, we've had great dialogue uh, within you know our our team uh, when it comes to players, and uh, I think that just shows you that these guys are in, they're bought in, and they care. With the uh them having Zion, that's changed everything. Obviously, you've got a lot of new players. You even bother looking at the video from the first matchup. Yeah, I always, I'll, I'll always look at it because, you know, you watch, you know, and see what what their common principles may be defensively. Um, but you, you may not spend as much time. Uh, you may watch as of late, you know, what they've been doing. Um, and then, you know, we're spending a lot of time with our team right now. You know, we want to focus on our group. Um, and how, how we can get better and how we can um, continue to improve. Uh, you know, no matter if it be a game day, no matter if it be a, be a practice day, if it be an off day, whatever it is, um, you know, time, time is short and uh, you gotta make the most of everything. How special is Zion that a rookie can come in and now this team, they feel completely different than yeah. from that first matchup? Yeah, they do and, and they're playing with a great confidence. And uh, they should be, and, and you know, a guy like that gives you confidence too. And um, you know, he he does a lot of things that are things that you know are just off field right now. And so he's a guy that you know, as as he learns the the NBA game more, and uh, he becomes more um, you know keen to what you know coverages may be or what um, reads may may occur you know on the offensive end. Um, he'll get better and better. So it's uh, you know he's he's definitely a talent.